What makes someone inspiring? Is it the things they do? Usain Bolt! Usain Bolt storming through! He takes it again! Or is it what they have to say to the world? But by the content of their character! It's hard to say for certain, but I don't think anyone could have guessed that one of the most inspiring men of 21st century would end up being a Japanese fisherman standing in cold water telling people to NEVER GIVE UP! This man is Matsuoka Shuzo. Matsuoka used to be one of the best tennis players in the world, but nothing changed his life more than uploading a handful of videos on his small personal website in early 2000s. No matter where you are, you've probably come across his videos since for the past 15 years they've been shared around and been loved by people all around the world. Never give up! But what is it that makes them special? They have a secret ingredient in them that no other video like this really has. And that secret ingredient is Matsuoka Shuzo himself. Matsuka fell in love with tennis from a young age and says the biggest motivation for him to concentrate on becoming good at tennis was aim for the ace manga that he has read since he was a kid. The manga tells the story of a high schooler aiming to become a professional tennis player. He considers aim for the ace manga to be his most important mentor, which is why he always carried the series with him during tournaments, and even brought a volume with him to the tennis court in the most important match of his life, which was the quarterfinals in Wimbledon 1995. He has always been a big proponent of mangas, citing that kids require role models of any kind, doesn't matter if they are fictional or real. The path to self-realization starts from imitation. I myself, and I assume many of you out there, have watched Dragon Ball Z for an episode or two and suddenly got the urge to go to a gym. So the man is definitely right on that. Matsuoka himself was able to achieve greatness in tennis due to imitating the characters from the mangas he read, achieving the world ranking of 46 in singles. He has later said that his brother was always better than him and also could have achieved a lot in the field of tennis if he didn't choose a different career path. So maybe tennis is just something Matsuoka has in his genes. After retiring from tennis, he had a life like any other retired athlete, showing up on TV from time to time, writing a book, you know, nothing crazy, doing something every now and then to make enough money to live. Until one day he became an international meme legend almost overnight, all thanks to this video. You see, Matsuka had his small personal website since the early days of the internet, and one of the things he decided to put up there was a series of motivational videos titled Konna Anatani, which basically just means for you. These were short 30 second videos he uploaded once a month where he enthusiastically just tries to motivate his fans and really anyone who happened to watch them. <laughs> But I'd argue that the reason these videos blew up in the first place is because they have something that most motivational videos don't have, and that is heart. Maybe it's just me, but as much as I like getting motivated, I feel like many times the people trying to motivate me are a bit out there, and the videos just end up making me feel uh, weird. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! I guess this is what the kids would call cringe, but I just think these kind of motivational videos are made for the person making them to feel good about themselves rather than actually, you know, trying to motivate other people. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. It's fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. 
But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. Matsoka's videos, on the other hand, don't read like that at all to me. I've now watched a good amount of them, and to me, Matsoka just seems like a genuine fun person who doesn't take themselves too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the videos take place in funny scenarios or just end with people laughing at Matsoka's enthusiasm. <laughs> but the secret sauce here is that even though these videos are funny, the message is always sincere. You can just feel that it comes straight from the man's heart. He truly believes in what he is saying, but at the same time doesn't take himself too seriously and knows that life is about achieving your goals and having fun. Usually he integrated these funny visuals to his speeches and didn't let other people staring at him affect his energetic performance one bit. He started making these kind of motivational speeches around 2005, but it wasn't until 2008 when he finally became one of the most popular people in Japan. In 2008, YouTube was something most Japanese people didn't know about, since at the time they had their own video sharing platform called Niko Niko Doga. If you've ever seen Japanese videos where text floats on the screen, then that's a Niko Niko Doga video. Someone found out Matsuoka's video backlog and made a compilation which he uploaded to Niko Niko Doga, and they immediately captured people's hearts and imagination. <laughs> From the moment the compilation was uploaded, people started to remix and edit the original videos into memes, and Matsuka Mads quickly became one of the most popular video genres on the site. I think I myself first saw these videos around 2009 in 4chan's flashboard, because at the time the site did not support video, so everything had to be flash files. Unlike other memes from this time, like uh, Leak Spin or Long Cat, which are now completely forgotten, Matsuoka's legend still lives on, and to this day I regularly see people online commenting like, never give up. Matsuoka himself has shown deep appreciation towards all the attention his videos have gotten, saying, I appreciate people making these videos with my heart and soul. I think we should make more epic videos for you to be able to make more better remixes. Surprisingly though, as energetic and supportive Matsuoka seems, He's not been happy with all the attention the internet has given him. Since he is such a positive personality, he's been called the God of Sun, bringing light to everyone around him. But a couple of years ago, some Twitter users noticed that the nickname might be more than just a nickname, since statistically it seems like wherever Matsuka goes, the temperature rises. They made a graph showing temperatures whenever Matsuka had left Japan, and it seemed like the weather always got worse when he left, and the temperature rose in whichever place he went to. This myth got eventually so popular that people started making Teru Teru Shuzo talismans, which are a meme version of the traditional Teru Teru Bozu talismans that are supposed to bring about good weather. The myth grew so much that even the weather news started keeping track of whenever Matsuka had left Japan. The real reason Matsuka himself hasn't been supportive of this myth is because, as much as he likes people joking about his presence bringing about good weather, he also knows that people suffer from bad weather and doesn't want to be burdened with the jokes that he is the reason of heavy snowfalls that trouble people whenever he leaves Japan. I've now watched a good amount of his stuff in preparation for this video, and I have to say, I have fallen in love with this man. In everything I've seen, he just seems like such a genuine guy, 
always out there to brighten other people's day and to bring out the best in him and others around him, no matter how ridiculous of a thing it requires. I even watched this video from a couple of days ago where he interviewed Naomi Osaka and I just loved how he was so into this small YouTube interview that he could barely stay on his seat. I guess what I want to say with this video is that whenever you're feeling down, don't forget that somewhere out there in the world there is a man called Matsuoka Shuzo who truly believes in you. Sunset. ふざけんじゃねえよ。この太陽と君の気持ちは違うぞ。太陽はね、今から一度沈んで新たな思いでやってくるから沈んでいくんじゃねえか。沈んだままだろ君は。起き上がらなきゃ。大丈夫。な